Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Some F1 22 game news. Today is going to, probably going to be the final video of this series, apart from any last uh, stuff that from EA themselves uh, that isn't included on career mode. Although there might probably not going to be enough, and before we know quite a lot about what's coming to uh, career mode. And also, um, I imagine there's going to be a presentation on F1 Life as well at some point. So yes, the first one, I'm going to just talk because this is from an interview actually between Alex Gillen and Lee Mather, who works for Codemasters um, as well. Now, there's a couple of big points. So I'll leave a link if you want to watch um, the full um, interview. First, the AI. So the inside line, uh, where previously you've been able to die from out the inside like no tomorrow, um, that's been tightened and the AI will start blocking that off and might just go for a few outside moves um, as well. The AI will try and hold their ground apparently a bit more. Not, as I said, not seen, we've not seen that yet, but um, to say it. It looks like that uh, we all know that they ma they make an improvement on the AI year on year, but there's still big issues. And like the, one of the issues on F1 2021 was higher speed corners, which apparently have been fixed. Um, but whether or not they fixed all the other stuff that was issues with AI, like carcass temperatures and whatnot, we don't know. My team now we've already had the we already know those three categories of funding. Um, now those three categories also have uh, facilities attached with them. So, like if you like in drive crew mode, if you go in straight to Mercedes, you're going to have level spec three um, facilities. So, if you pick that, I can't remember what the three levels are called. Um, but if you go for the higher one, you're going to, I imagine, you're going to get tier three. The middle one, you might get tier two or tier one or half and half maybe. And then obviously the bottom one you're going to get nothing um a, a, a porter loop is what you get what well, that well that's hopefully what we want but and also um if you pick those higher up ones then you'll have r d upgrades already on the car like they had previously with my team with those interviews with will buxton as well department events are coming to two player and driver career mode so that's definitely interesting i'm definitely intrigued with how that's going to happen in driver career mode um, as well see how big they are the trigger of the safety cars being improved as well because we all know that the safety car has come out for no apparent reason sometimes has now um, been improved f1 life doesn't impact on the progression of my team or driver career mode which is good but it, there is apparently there is some stuff in there as we know There'll be no red flags. Um, apparently, they're still investigating it. But yet, F1 manager is having red flags. So, um, obviously, there's a big. It's been crying out for year, years to have them in. Also, no classic cars, but I think we all knew that at, at some point. And the engine sounds as well. Um, the Ferrari one is being isn't the one that, that we've heard in all if you've seen all of the um be better release gameplay that's not the final one and i think they're also looking at improving some of the others as well um remixing it as well so yes that's pretty much the main points from um the interview there was just an, another article as well um which again had similar features in there as well from alex's interview but in addition, also has asked a question about what multiplayer could look like because obviously, uh, multiplayer is the word, well, let's just say they don't like it. Um, now, Grid Legends, which um, had a drop in, drop out multiplayer, I, as I say, I'm just reading from the article, I, d I don't actually know how easy it is, but that would definitely be improved, I think. But they've decided that without qualifying ties and positioning, and it wouldn't work for the long weekend st structure, which I disagree with because if you are just looking for a drop in, drop out multiplayer one, it doesn't mean you don't have to, have, you can't, you don't want a separate uh, one for the longer weekends. But the shorter three lap sprint races ones, that could be useful for a drop in, drop in, drop out multiplayer. That would be, that would be very good to have in the F1 game. 
um, as well. Uh, the matchmaking and ranking systems have been tweaked from previous years. Not that anyone uses it um, as well. Um, and obviously it's safety car. Hopefully that also means that safety car online has been improved. Um, and as well, um, there's cr cross play as well um, coming as well post launch. And there's also something on the damage model. Um, so obviously last year's game had a bit more stuff like the floor and the side pots for example and this they basically remodeled that for this year's game um Mather says he's not going to go to the huge extremes of what people will see because we'll probably be retiring but at the same time um well we have the t i have seen issues where the tires halfway down the road and it's, there's this big huge tire tether attached to it um as well but there are marks and scratches on the bodywork as well which we've had in previous years but you know the one the big the big problem i had with f1 2021 was that heads up display wouldn't update itself um if you had minor damage so that hopefully they've improved they've actually changed that for f1 22 as well and just on a uh, couple of final notes, uh, Natalie Pinkham here, uh, proof that she, well, we already knew she was in the F1 game, and there she is actually recording all of those lines that she uh, needed to do that for the voiceover as well. And then also, uh, one Eagle Eye spotter noted this from Miami, and that they've made the uh, marina real um, as well. So yes um, i don't know if they're making it real in real life for future i don't know about that so yes that's been this sh short um f122 game news videos let me know what you think in the comments below if you're not really new around here then please do get subscribed for weekly form one content until the next video then i'll see you next time take care thanks so much for watching enjoy your day and goodbye